Hi all, welcome to another informative video of NS Pharma. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I am going to teach you 10 important multiple choice questions from pharmacy's previous year question paper. Before starting this video, I would like to inform you about my new YouTube channel that is NS Pharma 2.0. So if any Kerala guys are watching this video, kindly check the channel and subscribe my new YouTube channel because I will be talking in Malayalam in that channel. So welcome all. Let's start this class. The first question is, which one of the following anti-arrhythmic drug acts by inhibiting potassium, sodium and calcium channels? Okay, which one of the following antiarrhythmic drugs act by inhibiting potassium, sodium and calcium channel? Okay, options, quinidine, lignocaine, amiodarone, flicconate. Okay, now you can opt your answer. The correct answer for this question is option C, amiodarone. Okay, amiodarone acts by inhibiting potassium, sodium and calcium channel. So, amiodarone can inhibit potassium, sodium and calcium channels. What about the other option? Cunidine, lignocaine and flicconide. These three drugs will inhibit only sodium channel. Okay. These drugs, option A, option B and option C can inhibit only sodium channel. Amiodarone can inhibit potassium, sodium and calcium channel. And one another important point regarding amiodarone is it contain iodine. Okay. Amiodarone contain iodine. So iodine containing antiarrhythmic drug is amiodarone. You can check the name here. Amiodarone. Here it is. IOD that represents iodine. Okay, so iodine containing antiarrhythmic drug is amiodarone. Okay, hope you got this one. Now we are going to next question, question number two. The reddish purple color formed in limit test of iron is the reddish purple color formed in limit test for iron is. Options are ferroin, option B ferric thioglycolate, option C ferric ferrocyanide, option D ferrous thioglycolate. That was one of the questions for Kerala Drug Analyst 2020. Okay. Now the correct answer for this question is option D that is ferrous thioglycolate. Okay, option D ferrous thioglycolate is the reddish purple color. Reddish purple color formed in limit test of iron is ferrous thioglycolate. It is due to the formation of ferrous thioglycolate. So what is the limit test for iron? Iron limit test is based on the reaction between iron and thioglycolic acid in the presence of citric acid and in ammoniacal alkaline medium. So reaction between iron and thioglycolic acid will give ferrous thioglycolate. Okay, ferrous thioglycolate. This ferrous thi thioglycolate has got reddish purple color. So you got this one. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number three. BCG vaccines are prepared from the BCG vaccines are prepared from the options are Mycobacterium tuberculosis, option B Mycobacterium bovis, option C Mycobacterium microti, option D Mycobacterium africanum. Okay, now you can select your answer. The correct answer for this question that is BCG vaccines are prepared from the answer is option B Mycobacterium bovis. Okay, Mycobacterium bovis. One important point regarding BCG vaccine is it is an example for live attenuated bacterial vaccine. Okay, BCG vaccine is a good example for live attenuated bacterial vaccine. Okay, so many question paper already had this question. So 
you have to study very well now we are going to the next question question number four depilatories are used as what is the use of depilatories for what purpose we can use depilatories options are hair remover option b hair waving preparations option c hair dressings option d brilliant ends okay so what is the use of depilatories you can select your answer the correct answer for this question is option a it is used as hair remover depilatories are used as hair removers we studied depilatories and epilatories are used for hair removing purpose okay depilation and epilation are hair removal process okay so what is the depilation what is epilation what is the difference between depilation and epilation depilation is a chemical method depilation is a chemical method in that the hair is not removed completely hair is removed on the from the surface only okay hair is removed from the surface only it is not removed completely in the depilation what about the epilation in epilation hair is completely removed that means hair is completely removed means in that area the hair full hair that full hair is removed okay so suppose when we are shaving that is come coming under depilation shaving is coming under depilation because by shaving hair is removed only from the surface it is not completely removed so shaving is coming under depilation another example for depilation or uh, depilator is hair removal creams hair removal creams are also coming under depilation because it removes hair from the surface only what about the plucking using tweezers okay in that sense the hair is completely removed so that is coming under epilation another example is waxing waxing is also coming under epilation okay so we are moving to the next question question number five potassium arsenate solution was used in the treatment of potassium arsenate solution was used in the treatment of so options are heart disease option b hormonal disorders option c leukemia option d antidiuretic agent so what is the correct answer here what was the use of potassium arsenate the correct answer for this question is option c that is leukemia so potassium arsenate was used before for the treatment of leukemia one important point regarding this uh, arsenic is arsenic is also known as poison of kings and it is also called king of poisons okay arsenic is also called poison of kings and king of poisons okay you got it now we are going to next question question number 6 the schedule which provide standard for ophthalmic preparation the schedule which provide standard for ophthalmic preparation options are option a schedule p option b schedule r option c schedule f f option d schedule y which one of the following will provide standard for ophthalmic preparation this question is from jurisprudence so related to ophthalmic preparation the correct answer is option c that is schedule f f okay schedule ff deals with the standard for ophthalmic preparations so we are going to next question question number 7 who is the secretary of pharmacy and therapeutic committee that is ptc who is the secretary of pharmacy and therapeutic committee options are administrator option b pharmacist option c medical director option d chief physician uh, who is playing the role of secretary in ptc the correct answer for this question is option b that is pharmacist pharmacy is the secretary of 
pharmacy and therapeutic committee what about administrator administrator is the director of pharmacy and therapeutic committee what about uh, you know chief physician physician chief physician will be the chairman of ptc pharas pharmacy and therapeutic committee okay so now we can see some important point regarding ptc ptc should have at least three physicians one pharmacist one nurse and one hospital administrator okay ptc contain minimum three physician then one pharmacist one nurse and hospital administrator for administrator we work as a director of ptc then chairman is chief physician one of the physician will be the chairman of ptc then pharmacist will be the secretary of ptc so what is the role of pharmacist pharmacist that is secretary should prepare agenda okay the person who is preparing agenda for ptc is pharmacist or you can say secretary one another important point is there should be minimum of six meeting per year okay now we are moving to the question number eight the chemical name of vitamin c what is the chemical name of vitamin c simple question options are option a ascorbic acid option b benzoic acid option c malic acid option d none of the above so what is the chemical name of vitamin c vitamin c is also known as option a that is ascorbic acid okay ascorbic acid is the correct answer for this question this is a simple question so i am not uh, discussing this one question number 9 bold mill works on the principle of what is the working principle behind the bold mill bold mill is used for the size reduction you know that thing so options are impact and attrition option b impact only option c shearing and friction option d crushing and friction so what is the working principle behind bold mill correct answer for this question is option a impact and attrition okay impact and attrition question number 10 that is the last question of this video that is emblem means emblem means okay what do you mean by emblem options are tablespoonful option b wine glass option c dessert spoonful option d teaspoonful so option a tablespoonful option d is teaspoonful okay tablespoon teaspoon then option b and c okay the correct answer for this question that is emblem means is tablespoonful the correct answer is option a tablespoonful okay so here is the bonus question for you we studied bcg vaccine is an example for live attenuated bacterial vaccine am i correct so the question is what is the full form of bcg what is the full form of bcg or bcg represent so you can write your answer in the comment section okay hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching until now and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe until now Press the bell button also so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. And Kerala guys, don't forget to check my new YouTube channel that is the NS Pharma 2.0. Thank you.